Hello everyone, welcome to our Krav Maga class. I'm Oren Malul, I'm a Krav Maga and fitness expert. And today we're going to teach you guys some effective and practical self-defense moves. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be handling a defense against a takedown. Now, let's break it down. So here guy, I have an attacker that goes towards my lower body, holding my knees and pushing from the upper body, right? I'm, I'm gonna lose balance pretty quick here. So the moment I feel him, pay attention what I do. One more time. Now, here guys, it is, it is important. If I'm gonna be waiting here, I'm gonna be on the ground. It needs to be, even, I can, even, if, even if I can react before that, oh, that would be the best thing. Pay attention. If I, even if I can react before that, boom, that would be the best case. Here, guys, I'm talking about a situation there. He already grabbed your knees. So what you have to do is throw your legs backwards, explosive backwards. Boom, it's kind of a sprawl. Lean with all of your body weight, with your chest, with your hands, on the back of his neck. And from here, look what I'm doing. Getting with one arm inside and choking him with a guillotine. From here, going up, pay attention what happens. In a couple of seconds, he's gonna be unconscious. Okay, one more time, let's break it down. We said, if I can stop it before, excellent. That means that I saw the attacker a little bit before. The time, my timing was better. But this specific one, Handling, oh, he already grabbed me. I'm throwing my legs, kind of a sprawl. Throwing my legs back. Spread those legs, all the body weights on him. One leg, sneak in, then go up with the guillotine, choking him, boom. You're gonna take him off, okay? Now, Federica, come here. Imagine someone comes, try to put you on the ground. You don't want this to happen. So here, if he's already jumping on you for the takedown and you didn't have the right timing, you, you couldn't stop him before, before, he's already grabbing your knees, you okay? give. Here, you're putting the hands on even the back of his neck here. Okay. Leaning forward while at the same time throwing the legs backwards open. Yeah, even, even back, yeah. There you go. As much weight as you can create on his back of his neck, on his back will be better. And from here, sneaking this right all the way inside. Yeah, hold with the other hand. From here, up. Yeah, and start to create pressure with the chest. Yeah, you give, do you feel it? Mm -hmm. Yes, one more time. Yes. Yes, look at me. Exaggerate. With this motion, you have to exaggerate m much more. Not half, this is half. On the way, oppa. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Oh, much better. Now he feels it. Now, let's check if it actually works. You're gonna go and try to put me on the ground and no discounts. Opa. Now, I sprawled aggressively and I want you Gev also to try to put Federica all the way to the ground. Don't let it happen. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy, you're gonna have one more shot. You give, go, no discounts. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, and it is a situation when you struggle. Yeah. Not that easy. Guys, here, if you wanna train on this move, just train on a sprawl. What is it? I'm putting my hands on the ground, right? In the reality, it's on his back. And then I'm sprawling. Look, my hips are going down sprawling all the way when my legs are as far, far as possible. Okay, so exactly this sprawl on him. Okay. 
Nice, nice. Yeah. To conclude, we had a very common situation when someone tried to put you down on the ground. It calls the takedown. And I don't want to let it happen. So I sprawl backwards and finish with the guillotine. It's not an easy move, but if you're gonna train on it and get the right technique, you don't have to be strong like any technique on Krav Maga. Thank you guys.